friends, are a lot like potatoes. If you eat them, they die. Hi, this is Coach MK, and this is the Morning Mantra. Hi, my name is MK Fleming. I'm a run coach based in Denver, Colorado, but this isn't a podcast about running exactly. Don't tell my clients, but we're never really talking about the running. When you know a craptastic event is coming, it helps to have a mantra to keep you centered and focused as you move through it. You don't have to be an athlete to be hashtag coached and loved by Coach MK, and if you are here, then you are hashtag winning at life. You are coached, you are loved, and you are winning at life. And you are definitely winning at life if you subscribe to my Nuzzle Nut newsletter, follow me on Facebook, or follow me on Instagram. Feel free to do all three. Don't forget, if you need a mantra, you can always ask for one at info at coachedinlove.com. Again, that's email info, I-N-F-O, at coachedandloved.com. Today's mantra is, different does not mean broken. Different does not mean broken. Last week, Phyllis Kant tagged me in one of those Facebook challenges people love to hate on. Take and post one photo per day for seven days that tells us something about your life. No people involved, inanimate objects only. Before you roll your eyes and tell me how lame it is and how you have better things to do, make sure you aren't saying it where Sarah Axelrod can hear it. I bet she'd love to have even one of those getting to know you challenges from her mother. I make a point each day to leave a piece of me in a place that can be found because I have nothing better to do than make sure my kids know who their mom was. Just saying, if you don't like them, that's cool. But don't hate on people who do. We have our reasons. So now that I've given you perspective on why these silly things can be less than terrible, let me tell you what I chose to do with this less than terrible idea. I went public with my ADHD diagnosis. I dedicated the next seven days to showing one strategy or coping mechanism the outside world thinks is weird that is actually me an adult with ADHD doing what I need to do to get my shit done. There's the right way, the wrong way, and the MK way. And you know what, guys? The MK way ain't lesser. You can see the videos. They're on my personal Facebook page. And my hands were trembling as I filmed that first video. I'm visibly nervous. And here's why. I'm working with my therapist to get back on Adderall a powerful stimulant that is on the ban list for athletes. The why is between me and my therapist. I'm ready. It's the right decision. But my totally appropriate use of this drug in the past has been used to discredit me at work, humiliate me in public as well as private. It's been held against me when I'm dressed up and pretty. Because ADHD is widely believed to be made up by rich people so their kids can take academic super drugs that also make them really skinny, drugs like Adderall, and then cheat their way into college. First, I have to do all this work to be okay with myself for being neurodivergent. Then I have to do the work to overcome the stigma and get into therapy. Then, in graduate school, I had to get over more stigma to get medicated to start truly treating my neurodivergence. Only to be called a cheater. I'm cheating at grades. I'm cheating at being skinny. How dare I address a problem I've been managing since I was 12? I got into Wharton. I'm fine, right? I didn't wait to get on meds until I was 30 because I forgot. It was one of the hardest, most humbling moments of my life. And it changed it forever for the better. I really wish I'd gotten on on Adderall when I was younger. So the trade-off is that Adderall is a banned drug in athletics. And I am a public figure. If I qualify for Boston, there'll be some butthead saying I cheated. If I win one of the podcasting competitions I've entered, some butthead will say that I cheated. 
Adderall can, and likely will, be used to nullify anything I have ever achieved, even though I wasn't taking it when those achievements occurred. And it'll be used to nullify anything I achieve in the future. I will never truly be allowed to win. That's how many of us with ADHD feel. Winning isn't good enough. You have to win the right way. Which means neurodivergent people like us were disqualified before we began. Most of us spent our childhoods and early adulthoods asking ourselves what was wrong with us and would we always feel like this? Will I ever fit in? Will I ever do things the way other people do? Will I ever be special instead of just different? No. The answer is no. If you are hearing my voice now, you do not have to feel like this. Different is not broken. We're a long odds bet. We're dark horses. We're sea biscuit. We're the X-Men. We're the kids who populate Hogwarts. The oddballs, the weirdos, the folks who weren't supposed to pull ahead, the ones who make magic happen. We are doing so because of our differences, which are actually superpowers. Poor muggles. I'd be mad at me, too. Everyone's just jealous. So, the mantra. In those moments when some butthead is trying to nullify your excellence, hear my voice in the back of your head saying, Different does not mean broken. Then spread those wings and break the damn roof off. Those poor muggles think they're brave for speaking up and calling you out. Truth is, they don't know what brave looks like. How much brave you've needed to get through every single day. How much brave you need to go on. I do. Your neurodivergence is your superpower. And the world needs more of it. Don't forget, the August monthly plans are up in the membership area of the website. And you need to dial it in the entire month of August. If you're going to participate in the Strength Beta come September the 1st. We can't wait to see you there. It's going to be great.